Oh, here we go again. The Ivy Link BMS3. This is one of the newest mining rigs out. And depending on your electricity rates, pulling 10, 12 bucks a day after you pay the electricity bill, right? Maybe we'll talk more about the numbers later. But this is a miner that is not all that expensive. Familiar setup, right, with the plug type, power ethernet equals passive income. Is it really that simple? Well, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna check out today. I'm Boss, you're on the Boss Coin Mining Farm. You're watching the Boss Coin YouTube channel. We're about to plug this thing into the digital shovel mini pod. Many people said Sciacoin was dead. Which would also mean that Sciacoin mining is dead. But SC, Ivy Link would have proved that wrong. Well, let's be the judge of that. <laughs> All right, I've been pretty excited for this miner. I feel like in a way it kind of came out of nowhere. Ivy Link is pushing for a resurgence. I'm, I'm happy to see it. I, I've personally been pretty intrigued and impressed by some of their recent miners that they've put out, including the little mini miners, right? They've got the best in class mini Cadena miner. They have the best in class mini CKB Nervos miner. I mean, that's cool to see. And when I saw the mining profitability, I was like, <sighs> We need to get one of these things in. So huge shout out to Ivy Link for sending us this miner to review. This is the BMS3 that mines 19 terahash a second on the Blake 2B dash SIA, because there's a difference, mining algorithm, consuming 3,100 watts of electricity. So at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, that's not right. Well, AMV is out here freaking rugging me. Uh, but this looks to be right. It's about $7.44 in cost, uh, not eight dollars and 93 cents so this is a miner that you can buy directly from ivy link please use my link in the video description it's not an affiliate link with ivy link but there are so many scammer impersonator sites especially for ivy link and to be frank i think they have an easy to copy website uh so you can use our link it has nothing to do with us it's more about getting you to the right place you can also see the url up here in the video as well, uh, so Sia coin is trading at about one cent per coin right now with a market cap of over half a billion dollars, surprisingly, at least to me, up 157% in the last year. And there's also SC Prime. So I don't actively follow the project, but I see you guys commenting about SC SCP sometimes. Uh, I mined it many, many, many years ago. So I just wanted to do a quick highlight on that coin. Let's remote into the device. The username was is IB Link. It's default, as you can see here. Uh, they're so proud of their little miners. They made it the the login screen. This is not even one of their little mini miners. Uh, but the password is admin. So we can see there are three hash boards in this miner, and we get a readout from chain one two three. That's hash board one two three, and it's averaging about 19 tera hash a second. That's what it's supposed to do. Temps look good, rejects are pretty low. Everything looks fine, right? Uh, so I've spun this up and put it on DX pool. Uh, I've got a link out that supports you and me uh, if you wanna go and sign up for DX pool. Sciacoin does not get a lot of mining pool support. Uh, so if we look at some of the mining pool stats here, we have DX pool is a mining pool option, F2 pool, but you have to use a Sidecoin address. It's not like a login uh, style. Uh, there's the ancient Sia mining. Uh, and then there's also Luxor. Hey guys, it's Miss Vosk here to tell you about today's video sponsor, Mars 4. Mars 4 is a play to earn multiplayer Web3 game built on the Ethereum, Polygon, and BNB blockchains. It's a real life Mars simulator game with an interactive 3D metaverse divided into land plots, each represented by a unique NFT. The game will be available on Steam and the Epic Game Store soon. Their third-person shooter Mars Battle Game pre-sale is also live now. 
To learn more about Mars 4, check out the link in the video description below. Mars 4 also has offered a discount code for our community. Use code BOSK30 to get 30% off all in-game assets and Lancelot NFTs. We were here back in the merge mining, Ethereum, Sciacoin uh, days. We saw the first ASIC come out. I bought the first ASIC from Bitmain that came out for this. The main people at Sciacoin also launched Obelisk, which had the coolest looking miners. And they had a unique trick in their back pocket where they had a backup mining algorithm in case someone beat them to the punch with ASIC miners. And Bitmain did, and then they forked and they changed from Blake2B mining algorithm to Blake2B Sia. It was one of the craziest and exciting times in mining history. A lot of drama. If you, if you wanted the Jersey Shore of mining, it, it was crazy. It felt like, in looking back, it really was like the wild, wild west. Things are much simpler and calmer and more professional uh, these days. Uh, so we can see this miner coming online here. Uh, and what I'm going to do in and later in this video, make sure to check this, the timestamps down below. I will splice in a mining profitability update. How is this thing performing, right? Is it performing as it's supposed to? What is the mining, the real world mining profitability of this device, right? And then we can really start crunching the numbers based on the real world mining profitability data to determine just exactly what is this thing worth. And just, you know, in full transparency to show you here, you can see I'm on my worker page. I'm in a sub account on my DX pool. I've got numerous accounts on here. And with this sub account, I can break it off and get clear mining data. I have several miners mining Sciacoin right now, and I want clear data on how, exactly how many coins uh, this thing is pulling in per day. ASIC Marketplace is a sponsor of the Voscoin YouTube channel. They are also selling the BMS3. And you can save some coin by using our coupon code down in the video description below. Please use our link. Uh, if you only use our code, we don't get credit. And by you using our link, you're supporting us making content. You help us make more and better content. It, 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 it makes a big deal. It, it makes a difference. I, I talked about Sidecoin being dead earlier, right? But they're going to be exhibiting a Paris Blockchain Week. Uh, they're going to be a consensus, uh, which is a big cryptocurrency conference this year. They're putting out a state of the coin monthly blog post. And I'll, I'll just be frank with you. There's there's some things going on, uh, but not, not too much. But I'm not here to hate on them or take away from them. Uh, they don't have a clear marketing focus, but they did decide to sponsor a booth at uh, the consensus conference they posted about. I'm always astonished how much money these cryptocurrencies will spend on sponsors right at these conferences and i often see terrible returns on those things instead of launching a real marketing campaign sponsoring cryptocurrency conferences are so expensive even if they just blasted a bunch of google ads they would they would get so many more impressions but the best way to be is supporting content creators but i'm biased there so i didn't want to lead with that but the point here is that They've got something going on. They're doing something, this, that, whatever. So let's check the network hash rate history. So we can see the fork over here. And we can see a pretty stagnant hash rate through the bear market. But a clear uptick in 2023 in a huge spike recently. Why? Is there a big, bad, better miner coming? Let's look over the last year. This mad dash up to 68 petahash a second is a bit alarming. It's about 50% bigger than the current network hash rate. So are there a lot more of these miners coming on the horizon or a competitor model? I'm not sure, but I am sure that the mining profitability is pretty good. And while the market has absolutely flipped green, which is a great thing, uh, there's still a lot of room for many of these cryptocurrencies to run, in my opinion, significantly. So the fact that we could still lose $12 in daily mining profitability and be breaking even, there's a lot of profitability room there. And within the last month, there were days when this was mining about $30 a day. Uh, let's not forget that Sciacoin has had some significant blips and bumps up in their price. Let's look at that February date. We got a February date right there. Huge hash spike shortly after a huge price pump. It could be a lot of hardware that's been turned off that's getting turned back on or mining rigs that have been sitting right in warehouses and wherever else 
waiting to be sold and finally getting sold making it to destinations and being plugged in uh, because it has seen a lot of life you know we're looking at this pump but this rise and this pump could have just instigated a lot of sales you see about a week lead time more or less if you're like i want that miner right now you know depending where it's coming from by the time your order goes through and this that whatever you you can expect you know a week you hope for less uh and you also hope uh that it's not longer than a week for anyone who's kind of naysaying well i don't think it was a pump there's some massive miner on the horizon let's look at nervos network real quick and their hash rate history because their coin has been absolutely pumping, ripping upwards in price point. Uh, so we bumped this out. Look at the price increase that's happened this year. Oh my gosh, the hash rate is just freaking nuking. Okay, so right around this period, CKB had a halving and these miners were barely breaking even depending on your electricity rate. And then that coin went up, 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 up. And then everybody was turning their machines back on, buying more machines, myself included. I grabbed 12 more of the K7 miners, which right now is the leading CKB miner. Uh, so I don't think that there's a next generation, at least something that blows it out of the water this bad that happened to come out and online at the exact same time in volume as the price pump. I think this is just the resurgence of existing and, and more hardware and everybody looking for their stuff to turn it back on. Who knows? I don't know everything. Take from that what you will. So I've got a couple days of full mining profitability. We mined over 1,500 SC coins per day. The coin price has dipped a little bit, which is negatively impacting the mining profitability projections. And it does seem that a few more uh, machines, or when I say a few, I mean a lot more machines have come online in that same period, uh, resulting in higher difficulty in mining the SC coins. The takeaway is I'm supposed to be pulling somewhere around $16 a day per mining profitability calculators. And I've realized about $15 of uh, mining profitability per day mining here on DX pool in my initial testings. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to try another mining pool and see if I get noticeably different uh, mining profitability. It's not a perfect and direct comparison because I don't have two identical machines running on different pools at the same time. But hey, you work with what you got. Several days later. So we can see I've got a couple initial mining data days here on DX pool. Uh, and that translated to about 15 bucks a day. I was a, a, a bit far off from where I wanted and expected and hoped and, and really needed to be on this device. Uh, let's refresh for the latest data. So uh, based on today's metrics, I should be mining about $11 in profit, about $18 of coin. Uh, so this was a miner from IBLink that I was really excited uh, to to check out, to review here, and, and to be frank, add to the mining farm. I switched over to a different Sciacoin mining pool, and now I'm earning over $20 per day. That's a 33% mining profitability increase. Even on the closest day, full day that I could register, it was about 20% higher. So yeah, I don't know what the deal is, but needless to say, I will be mining Sciacoin over here and 20 bucks a day on this mining rig. Makes it one of the better ROIs in mining right now. What the future holds, obviously I don't know, but based on these revised mining profitability numbers, I'm interested. The question of the matter for me, right? I mean, this is a recent release. This came out in February, 2024. Uh, the question for me is, are there other direct competitors uh, that have better machines in their back pocket that they're about to release uh, that would make this not as interesting and not as lucrative? Uh, with the data we have now, it looks good. But mining is a cutthroat game. I'm happy to have this miner. I think it's a good way for me to diverse, diversify the Voscoin mining farm a bit more. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's a, it's a profitable machine. And every profitable machine I have, I am happy to have. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you have not already. We're going to close this video out in style with our CMO, our chief mining officer. I remember vividly uh, when a lot of this mining, Sciacoin mining drama was going down. Uh, Tails became very sick. Uh, it sucked. It was tough. Uh, she almost died. Uh, she, the, the vet thought that she was going to die. It, it was just such a rough thing. 
uh, but and, and it was a long road to recovery uh, but long story short is we did hit that road of, of recovery we did make it through and I couldn't be uh, more thankful that I've had the incredible opportunity to spend you know another six years with her and she's still here alive doing well today so I hope that I have another 600 years with her uh, so remember just take a moment to cherish good things in your life the people uh, the dogs and whatever else that you care about uh, there's so much negativity, there's so much noise, there's so many bad things in this world, especially in this era, it feels like. You're just constantly bombarded with it. Try to take a deep breath and just remember that there are some good things, hopefully, in your life. And if there aren't, I hope there are soon. And worst case, I guess, well, if nothing else, we can just put Boss Queen videos in, in, in your life. There I go. Marrying the message. I'm gonna sign off before I ruin it more. Goodbye. Ah.